Hello guys, welcome back to the crew, Wild Run. Um, in this video we are going to talk about bucks, money. So, how to make money in this game in an easy way. Um, well, you have to do two things. You can earn it and at the same time save it. That's the idea here. So, um, as you can see here, I have 740,000 and a, a few crew credits as well. Crew credits um, can be bought if you want to. Not sure what the ratings are, but I think for about 50 bucks you get 600,000 crew credits and there are some lower packages as well. Going from bronze, silver, gold, platinum, that's what they called. So, um, we are March 2016 now, I bought this game about a month ago, somewhere at the end of January, beginning of February 2016. Um, what did I buy? I bought the Crew Complete Edition, which was on sale at Steam at the time. And with that I got the Crew, the Crew Wild Run, a few DLC packs, um, including the Season Pass. What is the Season Pass? That gives you um, a Ferrari 458 full stock and a McLaren 12C full stock to go with the first car that you can get with the story and then um, also included in the season pass are the four monthly packs as they call them the rate car pack, the vintage pack, the speed pack and the extreme pack and they also come with three cars each in full stock uh, for instance, the vintage packs is the Spiker C8 and two of the older Corvettes being the C2 and the C3 and so on. And also included is the Street Edition packs, which uh, I would not suggest buying, which I will explain in a bit why you shouldn't buy that one. So, um, how can you make bucks in this thing? Well, first of all, um, the game starts with the story and um, even some of the very known YouTubers I see them play and then I see up here level 15 and they are posting videos about the game but they are still level 15 which means they haven't completed the story yet because if you completed the story which means you have done all these um, story missions which you can see on my map now that is the story, so that is, what is it, I don't know, 40, 50 missions that you have to do. And that will complete the, the story and uh, the last one here being um, V8 or beating, uh, beating Shift. Not exactly sure which is the last one, Shift or V8. Anyway, if you complete the story you are at level 50, which also gives you uh, an advantage at the dealers, because you will be able to buy level 40 cars instead of level 1 or 10 or depending on the spec but that's the food it doesn't take that long I mean I, I played for two nights and I completed the story in two nights and then you are level 50 and then you can uh, get the game going so first things first complete the story which will also give you some bucks um, because I bought a complete edition I'm not aware of what the normal um, procedure is in this game, but um, at the start of my game, I had 10,000 crew credits, and when completing the missions from the story, somewhere halfway, I think, maybe even when I went to Las Vegas, I'm not 100% sure, at some point, I got an extra 100,000 crew credits, which you can spend on cars, parts, whatever you want to spend it on. So I had 110,000 and I have now 62 left. Other than that, I'm just going with the bucks. And that's a matter of earning them and saving them. So, um, the easiest way to get some bucks or, well, or all these skills. Skill tests, all sorts, jump, speed skill, whatever you want. They all bring you some bucks, as you can see here, 229. In the West, they will be the more expensive ones, being 500 bucks you can get from that. So, that's one thing. Um, 
it's not going to give you much bucks, but anyway. Um, if you're new to the game, exploration. You have these landmarks all over the place. Uh, I'm not. I haven't counted them. It, it says it somewhere how many are there. 240, 250, maybe even four, five hundred. I have no idea. All these marks, green marks, as you can see. Um, you can drive up there, or you can fast travel up there, and just. Well, let's do that for instance. So you fast travel to one of these things. There we are. What do you do? You drive up there. You press enter. You get some sort of video. Just press escape. And you just have gotten yourself 2000 bucks from this game. And um, as you could see. On the map here. There are a lot of these things. So they are worth. If you're new to the game. They are worth 2000 just by visiting them. them. Teleport there or drive up there, go inside, press escape or watch the video if you want and you get 2000 bucks. And seeing there are a few hundred of them, that means you get a few hundred thousand bucks from it just by visiting those things. Once you visit visited them, uh, they will not give you, you have a green check mark here then and then you won't get any more bucks from it, but at least the first time, it's an easy way to get bucks. Um, the second thing is um, awards, which you have to look here up in uh, in your driver ID. Awards. Now, um, you have specs, origins, ownership, cities, zones, all things that you can unlock. By doing so, you will also get some bucks from that. You will get, um, if you have completed one, for instance, this one, I completed this one. It also gives you uh, license plates that you can put on your car and so on. Um, also for getting those awards uh, you need to get platinum medals in all of those things so uh, platinum in all of this missions and uh, in also in every of those skill tests. Um, some of them are harder to do because you need a monster spec or a drag spec there um, for instance, the long jumps you can only do with a with the drag spec. There's no other car that you can make the jump where you have to jump over canyons and stuff like that. So uh, you need a drag spec there to get enough speed to make the jump. And then you can get platinum medals in all of those things, which also gives you bucks and completes the uh, awards. So it, it's all uh, linked more or less. Um, faction mission which is uh, pretty messed up again it seems it does that sometimes according to uh, my driver id now i'm the underboss which is the second highest rank about 0 0.5 percent of the players is underboss and the boss is even less because for each of these five different factions there is only one boss around which uh, becomes available at faction spots 150,000 and according to this thing I'm 137,000 now but that's not correct I was rank number four close to street bus but it's still lieutenant and it gave me around 50,000 I think so this is a uh, something I can neglect because I will not get this amount but the faction spoils um, you get by doing PvP or multiplayer lobbies that's where it's uh, it's the same PvP and multiplayer lobbies and uh, faction missions so um, what are the faction missions if you pull your filter here on faction you see all these faction missions the black ones they go from 4400 bucks or from 4000 because uh, the 4400 I will explain later when we are going to headquarters um, you have green ones less than 10 minutes also for 8,000 or 8,800. Then you have um, orange ones which brings 33,000 bucks takes 10 to 60 minutes but uh, some of them can be done in about I don't know 15-20 minutes maximum 
Then you have the red ones for 80,000 or 88,000 in this case because I get 10% more. Uh, because I use something in the headquarters I will show later. Um, and then you have the longest of them all which bring you 176,000. Now, is that the maximum you can get? No, it is not because from one of these missions for instance you can get 420,000 bucks. But for that you need a bit of luck and the right car. For instance this is, um, well it's a circuit spec requirement and there, there are also uh, where you need this one frontier tour you need a p which stands for performance or um, if you have your client in another language this will be the sport spec that is required and it brings 176,000 it takes more than an hour at the suggested time it's two hours and a half but you can do it in about 90 to 100 minutes. Gives you 176,000, but if you use a Maserati Gran Turismo, fully upgraded, which um, is license restricted agreement with, uh, with Maserati, you cannot mess around with that car visually, so uh, you cannot win uh, rims, hoods, and things like that. So it only gives bucks from the platinum car that you will always get if you finished one of these faction missions. So in how many bucks do you get? Well, as much as the mission is. So uh, in this case, 176,000, you also get 176,000 from the platinum cards. So which means it's 352,000 bucks that you get from doing this one mission for 90 minutes or 100 minutes. Easy way to get, and it can even be more if you have a 20% boost pack, which can be one um, in the summit, which I will explain later. But first we'll uh, take a look in headquarters. when the game starts and you do the story those missions from the story is also something you can always keep doing afterwards even if the story is finished you can still do the missions and they will also give you some bucks not that many though but at least it's more than uh, than you can earn in the skills now um, second thing cars now um, let's see already have nine pages here now um, the most expensive cars most cheapest codes are like 220,000 or something and the most expensive is uh, over a million for instance La Ferrari 1 million bucks um, it is in red because I am at 740,900 so I cannot buy it or at least that's what you should think so what you have to realize in this game is um, one of the most important things in your headquarters is this one. Perks. Go in there. So if you finish the story, um, you will have, not 100% sure, I think 49 or 50 perk points. Unless you start realizing the importance of perk points because when the story starts um, Zoe will be here if you go to perks she will be here if you uh, go through the story in Chicago you will meet Omar in New York you will meet Harry in um, Miami you will meet Alita then go to Las Vegas and you meet Roxanne and then you go to Los Angeles where you meet Vincent if you completed the story they are all available as you can see here if you're somewhere in the middle of the story you might only have one two or three unlocked but uh, first points you get I would just use them on where is it this one I think it is if you spend your first 10 perk points on this one you get a 20% chance of two perk points at each level up so that means that 
um, normally if you level up you will get one perk point so you start at level one and if you level up to level 50 then you have leveled up 49 times so you have uh, 49 perk points but if you put this one on from pretty early in the game you have a chance 20% chance of getting two perk points so which means that you will get an extra 10 points going through the story and then you will have around 60 perk points which you can always use now uh, if you want to get some bugs take a look on all of these things because a lot of them involve bugs or making money or saving money so uh, for making money this one for instance gives you 10% more XP and dollars from missions so uh, as shown before for instance the faction missions I, I showed one there where it gave me 176,000 bucks for doing that mission normal price for that thing is 160,000 but because I use these five points I get 10% more on them and so I get 176,000 so I get 16,000 more and that's also uh, goes for the normal missions so I would advise use this one others are available here uh, if you do the skill tests 10% more bucks from that XP as well but if once you go through the story the XP uh, is not necessary anymore XP is only if you're not completed the story yet then you also get some XP points this one gives you 10 percent more for stunts so what are stunts that's uh, if you drive around and you um, you hit some things which is uh, collateral damage if you do some drifts and stuff like that those are so-called stunts or jumps and there uh, you get some bucks from that just by driving around in free drive and so uh, you get 10 percent more of that um, this gets you more reputation that's for the faction so that you can upgrade your rank within the faction faster this gives you more um, bucks from the PvP events which is the multiplayer lobby also something you can use and if you're gonna do a skill test definitely use this one it's 15% faster scoring so uh, you will mo way more easy get yourself onto a gold or platinum medal in doing jumps speed tests race line skills hill climbs that uh, sort of thing now um, the second one for Vincent, the first one for Roxanne and the first one for Zoe and Omar if you put five points on there that will be able to get your car at 1299 if you do not have those four on then the maximum for your car will be 1234 that is uh, with all level 50 platinum parts so um, what else that's for earning bucks but you can also save a lot of bucks if you're gonna upgrade a street car before you go to the street tuner put these 10 points on it but it will cost you give you 30% discount on all the parts performance parts um, color parts hoods rims if you want to buy those things you can also earn them but if you want to buy them at the tuners put these on if you go to a street tuner the same goes for this one uh, if you go to a dirt tuner if you go to a performance or sport tuner this is the one that you need if you go to a rate tuner then you need this one if you go to a circuit tuner you need this one um, other other stuff that you can yep you can also um, spend 10 points on here which will give you a 50% off if you repair your car so if if, uh, if you messed up and then you hit a lot of stuff and then the repair cost might be like 3000 and then instead it, you only need to pay 1500 which you think okay that's only 1500 but you play with a lot of cars you have a lot of repairs so um, at the end if you play this game for a few weeks and months you will actually get uh, a lot of saved by using this one I'm using it not at the moment because I, I, I'm concentrating on other stuff so because these um, all these points you can spend wherever you want them and even if you are at zero like I am now I, I I'm using 70 points so I have 0 70 but you can always reset them and they cost the resets cost you a hundred bucks for each point so uh, in my case I'm using 70 points 
So if I want to reset, then I have to press F1. And then it asks you, do you really want to reset? In my case, 70 points times $100 bucks is 7,000 bucks. Uh, no, I do not want to reset because I am have it like this. Um, let's see. So if you're going to get um, a car, a new car from the dealers, put this one on. If you spend 10 points on here, you get 30% off the cost of a new car. So uh, for instance, I showed the Ferrari, uh, which was more than 1 million. If I put this one on, it only would be 700,000. In my case, I could I be able to buy La, La Ferrari now. Although it costs a million, if I, if I use these 10 points, I will be able to buy it for uh, 700,000. So it's not about earning alone, it's also um, about saving up. And saving up is a lot you can do here, just uh, before you buy things. Now, um, if you go to a tuner, you can buy all those parts. For instance, um, let's go to page one. As you can see here, my street cars, um, all of them, I can buy, I can uh, go through the page. All of my street cars are at twelve hundred and ninety-nine. Now, um, how it, how did I do that? I just bought them with the thirty percent per points on the street dealers. And um, now I'm thinking which one I use because to be able to buy level 50 parts, platinum level 50 parts, which is which are needed to get your car at 1299, you need to unlock them at. Um, and I think for the street tuners, I use this car. So I've been doing missions, tests, uh, trying to get all the parts. And I will check to see if I have all the parts here. I think it is so. Um, there are 11 parts on each of the cars or bikes. And there are, uh, I have level 50 platinum. And there are four of them. So for each of those level 50 parts, you have four swords, a braking bonus, a grip bonus, acceleration bonus, and a speed bonus. If you want to buy these parts in the street tuner, in the dirt tuner, wherever, then you need to unlock them. And how do you unlock them? By at least winning them once. So that's what I've been doing with this car. I've been doing um, jumps, skill tests. Uh, that You can do jumps, you can do speed, skill tests, race line, whatever of those skill tests you want to do. And you have to do them over and over and over and over again till eventually you will get all the parts one by one. So uh, I unlocked these four by doing so. And it's the same for the other parts. So in total, I unlocked 44 of these level 50 platinum parts so that I have them, all of them on this car. But by doing so, I also made them available at the street tuners to buy them. And they cost, uh, for the street spec, they cost 8,000 bucks. By putting on the 30% discount for the street parts, I can buy them for 5,600 bucks. And that's what I've done with all of the other cars. So, um, for instance, this one, I just, let's take that one out. What have I done with this car? Pretty simple. I went to a street tuner, I bought a car, and I also bought the performance cars. And as you can see, I only have one level 50 platinum part. Which I could buy at the street tuner with a 30% off for 5,600. And I've done the same for the other 11 parts. So for 61,500 bucks, you can upgrade any street car to uh, 1299, which is the maximum level for any car. So for a street car, I would suggest get the parts on one car so that you will unlock them at the tuners and then for the other cars, just buy them for 61,500. The problem of course is the higher the spec, um, the higher the prices. So um, for a street car, as I said, $8,000, or bucks in this case, 
With 30% up, that's 5,600 times 11, it's still 61,000. In the dirt tuner, again, you have to use one dirt car to unlock all 44 level 50 platinum parts. Because it's not because I unlock them um, with this card, the street card, that they are available at all the tuners. No, they are only available at the street tuners. So you have to do the same with the other cars. So uh, I used also here I used the Skyline. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, have a quick look in that. Um, yep, I have all four of them as you can see, and by de by doing so, I also unlock them at the dirt tuners with the parts cost 17,000 for one but because I also used perks on the dirt for the dirt tuners 30% off so I could buy them for 11,900 so to upgrade a dirt spec with 30% discount to 12.99 you need to spend 130,900 that's a bit more already and it goes it goes up all the time so um, for the sports spec the normal price for a performance part here is 27,000 so um, with 30% um, off let's see how much that is, I don't even know it by heart 18,900 you have to pay but then also again times 11 so that's about 210,000 you need to spend to upgrade for instance this car to 12.99 for the rate spec it goes up, it, it always goes up. For the rate spec the, the parts are 37,000. So um, which is um, with 30% of the per points used for rate. You still need to pay uh, 25,900 if I'm not mistaken. Times 11 so you need to spend, uh, I don't know, 270,000, 280,000. And it goes up and up and up. For the circuit. 45,000 for one performance part with 30% off times 11 you still need to spend 346,000 bucks to upgrade one car to 1299 and that's where you can save some bucks by simply doing 11 tests as I've shown uh, in previous videos and what do the 11 tests do well you do 11 tests on the west coast for um, level 45 preferably gold parts do not go for platinum go for gold and then you can get your car um, at the maximum of 1002 but at the minimum of 997 so as you see here I didn't buy the parts here yet and I'm also not going to I just uh, been doing 11 tests with all these cars so that I have them around the score of 1000 of course if you want to gonna set records in that or um, you want your car at 1299 then you can still do some tests to get the necessary parts but if you can start from 1000 then you're already more than halfway ahead because if you buy a normal car without buying the parts in the store street car comes with a score of 320 Dirt car 419, 529 for the perfect spec, 639 for the dirt spec, and 749 for the circuit spec. So, but just by doing 11 tests for any of these uh, cars or bikes, you can get them at 1000 without spending any bucks in the tuners. Because, well, as you can see, I'm playing the month, uh, about a month now, and I have 208 different specs I have 55 stock cars out of the uh, 84 available I believe so I've been doing a bit of mixing I've, I've bought the uh, all of the street specs of all of the cars that are available with the street spec I all have them and I have uh, bought parts for that one so they are all at 12.99 no matter where you look even if you look on the last page that I have cars on page 9 I think 12.99 12.99 12.99 so by now I'm sort of working on the dirt spec, but at least have one car at 12.99, so that in case you do uh, multiplayer lobbies and there's a dirt spec, so that they don't smoke you, uh, that you can win races. 
So um, I have 1299 cars on all of the specs and I'm working on upgrading the others to get there eventually but I'm not spending all my bucks on upgrading this car. I'm just doing skill tests to get them with a score about 1000 and then by driving around every day with another car and doing skill tests and missions and all that you will get them at 1299 that way if you have enough bucks go for it and just go buy them at the tuners so that's uh, for the cars and for the perk points it's a matter of earning them and also saving them by using the perks with 30% off and stuff like that so that you save yourself some bucks um, yes we're gonna leave headquarters and if you're new to the game especially do the landmarks 2000 each and there are a bunch of them um, so uh, back to the map let's see what else do we have here um, yes this no I have to put up the, the driver ID so um, there are challenges here there is a challenge that is available every day every 24 hours there's a new challenge what you have to do for the challenge well it depends what they want um, in this case apply two cosmetic changes to any vehicle so um, pretty simple uh, put some other rims put some other colors on the car go out of headquarters again you can go back in and uh, change them again if you want but you will have 100% here then by doing so um, the landmarks we just done what you have to do is visit four of them power will, will be complete for 100% and earn 250 bucks from drift in a single combo well, it's pretty simple drive around do some drifts and uh, getting yourself 250 bucks and then this will be complete and that's the price that you will get for it is 5000 bucks this one is the weak challenge um, increase any car to 519 which I, I have done as you can see and earn 10,000 bucks which you will automatically do by driving around doing missions doing stuff so I got that one as well so it's complete and I got 20,000 for them this is the month challenge you have a month time to complete that one and in this case we had to earn 100 most wanted stars that is uh, involving police chases if you can get the heat up to level 5 or 5 stars you escape the cops that's 5% of this one done um, if you do 20 of those things 20 police chases you will have 100% and that one will give you a hundred thousand bucks so uh, doing these challenges simple bucks to get it there now um, what else can you do um, first of all no matter if you know if you, even if you're new to the game you don't know anyone if you run into someone send them a friend request at least try to get four friends on your friend list why well I will tell you why if you go to faction in FPP <coughs> his faction missions if you click on that you have a um, set waypoint fast travel play send friends and so forth so what does send friends it has nothing to do with your friends but you ha you need to have some friends on your friend list and uh, they will they will not be aware of it you're not bothering them with it you're not really sending them on this mission but they are supposed to do that that's uh, so it's sort of a, a ghost ia that does it for you and so if you click on this send friends um, let's see you get eight ten percent of that thing so I, I get 800 bucks of it if I um, no I'm not gonna do it but for instance uh, for the bigger ones 176 so if you send a friend here you get 16,000 bucks and 900 reputation so send a friend and uh, if you do so you can uh, add some friends here if you want 
by uh, clicking here and then you really you sort of make your friends do the mission for you but the game won't bother your friends with it it's, it's uh, some sort of ghost driver that does the mission for you and if you if you click OK here then there will be um, if you do this there will be some sort of um, countdown running for instance this one takes about 90 minutes to do so uh, let's assume that's maybe an hour or two or maybe it's the suggested time I don't know and then the countdown uh, it goes down for two hours and a half you don't even have to be online and you get 16,000 from it by just sending your friend and if you do this uh, to the four big missions that are out there that's like getting 60,000 every day because you can do it every day or every day or once once the mission is finished you can send another friend and so on so also an easy way to get some bucks 60,000 every few hours or whenever you are online you can do you can send your friends out you go offline you come back online and you can collect from those missions 60,000 every time um, then also and by doing the faction missions yourself that's where uh, the faction spoils come from and that is the amount of bucks that you get when you log on every 24 hours you will get the amount of bucks that uh, well which is a bit glitched at times because I'm not getting um, 137,000 as suggested here because I'm only ranked number four at the moment and I'm getting about 50,000 every day simple bucks by doing missions by uh, and not only the missions but also um, these awards things if, if you uh, click on them what do you have to do for instance um, over here you have to drift for about 4.8 kilometers in a full stock car and then they will unlock this one and by unlocking all these awards you will also um, make your award and faction spoils go up so you get more more you complete these things the more bucks you get from it as well um, what else right the summit of course uh, also um, also in, in uh, PvP but this time not the black things but the yellow ones those are the PvP lobbies also called multiplayer lobbies if you do it there uh, you get from races you get like 15,000 up to 20,000 for one race there's no way uh, you're gonna get that with the normal missions with some of these faction missions you do get that if you go for the orange ones 30,000 but then you're playing for like half an hour you get 33,000 playing in half an hour but if you play a multiplayer lobby you do one race which takes a few minutes and you get 18,000 or something depending on the number of players that are there and if you put uh, use perk points in the headquarters like I shown before you get 10% more for those races as well so easy way to get bucks um, what else well the other thing is um, it's more of a saving matter again if you have the wild run edition I haven't shown that uh, before so I have to go back into the headquarters back to my collection board but this time to the extreme page so back to the collection boards because um, these 14 pages are all the cars in the game uh, which are expanded every two months or so with um, the reward car from the summit um, January February that was the BMW you could win that in the summit and um, once those two summits were finished they, it became available for all the other players that haven't won them and so you could buy them um, here in the at the dealers and at the different tuners um, and it was the same for the Lotus I think which I don't have yet so I have to find that one um, looking for something that was the um, don't think it was the AGs I think oh, this one it was Lotus Evora 
you could win that one in November and December at the summit and later on it also became available uh, this we are now March 2016 and this month the summit reward is a BMW M4 so I'm guessing that will also be the reward in uh, April so somewhere in May the BMW M4 will become available at the dealers so then we will go to 15 pages of cars seeing this one is already full but these are all the normal cars if I uh, press F1 I'm uh, using PC and uh, keyboard here then you open the extreme page now what is the extreme page those are uh, three more specs next to the street dirt um, sport rate and circuit you also have a drift spec a monster spec and a drag spec although that's not 14 pages those are only five pages it's only for a few of those cars but as you can see they are very very costly drift spec 400,000 monster spec 450,000 drag spec even 500,000 that's a lot of bucks that you need to spend or crew credits it's even worse but it's actually pretty simple you can get them for free how do you do that well that's pretty simple uh, yes I want to leave uh, in one of my previous videos is the summit how to get there you can watch there um, how you can get yourself onto the summit itself But to get on the summit, quickly explain it here. So uh, this one is the summit, which is a monthly competition for all players. But to be able to get there, for March in this case, um, you need to earn three medals in qualifiers. If you get three medals in qualifiers, then you will have earned yourself an access pass. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can buy your way in as well. But then you need to spend a few hundred thousand bucks just to get in there and you're not guaranteed for anything but there are also these um, qualifiers and uh, every three days there is a new qualifier so uh, last week it was here somewhere in miami now it's in the east coast next week it might be midwest or something like that so uh, let's enter there So, for instance, we are March now. So, and for March, you have uh, eight qualifiers. Eight different. I didn't participate in the second, in the first two. In the third one, I got silver. The second, uh, fourth one, I got silver as well. Sort of not familiar with the things yet. But as you can see, I'm moving up. In the uh, in the fifth one here, I which was March 14 uh, to March 17. That was uh, till yesterday, I think. It's March 19 here now. So. Uh, I got gold and now we have this qualifier uh, and here are the medals so uh, at this moment there are 3,000 almost 3,200 players ranked but it's still uh, more than a day remaining so might more players might uh, go for it here uh, and you need to get a medal in here by doing different things um, bronze is 3,140 at the moment is good enough for bronze silver 1,900 gold 635 and platinum 318 something uh, at the moment I am in hundred and first place so I already have platinum now of course like I said it goes for three days so you sort of have to defend your place here but I am already guaranteed a medal because I'm on platinum and in worst case scenario I might drop a hundred spots or something uh, but then I will still be on platinum if I drop like 250 spots then I will still have gold so a medal is guaranteed for me giving me a 5% more monthly reward bonus and the more percent you have here so the more medals you get in these qualifiers the higher chance you will get at the actual summit to get the BMW M4 but by doing this if I enter the qualifier which I just done now you have all these different things to do so uh, all of these can be done 
well, for this you need um, you need a crew, but these these four can be done by yourself. It's just one of the escape skills. It's one of the slalom skills. Try to get as high a score as possible, and then you maybe two hundred and twenty. You can also, if you have the best cars and the fastest cars, and you know all of those things, uh, the routes and and how to uh, which is the best car to use for that, you can even go for a top ten spot. But I'm just going for gold here, and I made uh, a few good spots here and there. Uh, for the drag tile, sometimes you can use your own car, sometimes you get a car. This time we got a car, so uh, I'm 113th out of the 3,200 players that were ranked. So, And there are different things to do here, and that sort of the average of the, all these things um, give you your ranking. But by doing so, you also fill up an extreme points bar. And the extreme points bar matters for, as I've shown before, the extreme page, the monster drift and specs and all that, costing 400,000, 450, for 500,000 even for the drag spec. If, you, uh, if your bar is full, the extreme points and that just by participating in all this you will get uh, 40 extreme points there and 60 extreme points there and if the bar is full which I will try to show you uh, by putting up the summit here here it is the um, AS key which stands for um, extreme starter kit progress um, as you can see here my bar is almost full and it says MT here if the bar is full, I will get a free monster truck. And I can choose whatever one I want. Of course, not the one that I already have, but if there are at the dealers, some that I don't have yet, I can choose one of those just by filling up this bar by participating here. I get a free monster truck, which normally costs me 450,000 bucks. And that's just by participating in the qualifier. Um, I already have two monster trucks adrift um, spec and uh, one drag spec so just by participating in um, four of these qualifiers I get four different specs for free which normally was gonna cost me somewhere between 1.5 and 2 million bucks so I would suggest get yourself in these qualifiers and get it there because also um, by getting the medals by earning the medals once the qualifier is finished, in this case on March 20th, when the next one become available, you will also have a, a loot system popping up and that one, uh, there's like four different rewards that you can win. One is uh, a performance pack where you get some performance parts from uh, level 47 or level 49 or something like that. It's, it's a package with I think four or five different parts. Um, the second one is one of these specs, so uh, a free drift car, a free monster truck, or a free drag car. You can also win by uh, winning the medal. The third one is um, some crew credits, so that you can use to buy cars or to upgrade your car or visually change your cars. And the last one is um, a boost pack, so it's sort of a loot system that goes like tick 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 up and then it stops and then wherever it stops that's what you get. And the boost package gives you 20% more bucks for the next three days. And if you then, um, if you have that boost package, like I had last week, I had the boost package. If you then, for instance, um, do this mission, it's 90 minutes, gives you 176,000 bucks. I've done them with the car shown here on the picture. The Gran Turismo, which gave me double bucks, it's 350,000. And because of the boost package, I got 20% extra, so it gave me 400,000 for one simple mission. So those are all different simple things to do. Do missions, do this, do that. And especially concentrate on uh, multiplayer lobbies, that's where you get the most bucks. And also on the Summit um, qualifier. Even if you uh, don't get uh, platinum or gold, even a bronze medal will be enough to get yourself into the reward loot system and you can get free cards there.
getting monsters or drift or drag specs or maybe some crew credits so this is the place to be go for the qualifiers um, and if you're new to the game just visit all these landmarks gives you 2000 bucks as well um, and well I think that will be about it all about bugs this video haven't been driving around much just um, an explanation where to get the bugs and also it's not only about earning them it's also about saving up or putting the right perk points on the things so that you get 30% discounts at the dealers um, and at the tuners or 10% more from missions, skill tests, stunts and all that. So you get more bucks and you save some bucks. That's what this game is all about. It's all about the bucks management so that you can get yourself on a lot of cars. Because otherwise you have to do a lot of playing around and if you don't have the right perk points on it and that stuff like that then it's gonna take you especially if you can't for instance if you can only play at the weekend it's gonna take you months to get all the cars but if you concentrate it on all those perk points and all that it's pretty easy to get cars as I just shown um, I started with I think about 50 cars because I bought the complete edition and I had all these packs but I now have like 210 cars and I'm playing for one month just by concentrating and look out what all those things mean and that way I'm making like a million bucks at least every time that I play for a couple hours so that will be it for this video earning bucks saving bucks where to get them that's what you have just seen and I will see you guys in the next one and bye for now.